go. Hey, hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. I forgot to say I'm UK Haven and it's becoming a thing now that I forget to say my own name. But you're on my channel, so you should know, you know? I'm, I'm literally like, I look like a hunchback and locked it up, but anyways. Today is a bit of a different video. Firstly, I'm outside, oh my god. Today I just wanted to do like a sit down and, and chat kind of thing. Um, as you read, the title of this video is called well, Tomorrow Is It Guaranteed? There's a couple reasons behind why this is like a specific thing I wanted to talk about, I guess. And I just want to put like a trigger warning on it for like mentions of like suicide and stuff. Um, I think it's important that we have this discussion of, of tomorrow is a guarantee because I think these days this narrative of you have so much time, slow down, um, you know, life is so long, it, this whole, like, so many narratives to do with time are just consistently, why did I do that, consistently, like, shoved down our throats. And um, I think recent happenings in my own life have proved all of those narratives incorrect. So that's why I wanted to talk about them personally. Uh, so I think it's I think a narrative that is, is pushed in a correct way is like don't waste time. Um, like, you know, do do everything, do not regret anything. Those are like my favorite kind of narratives, I guess. Recently. The person I'm in love with um, almost wasn't here anymore. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and um, at that time when that happened, um, we weren't talking. And that was my choice. And I made the right choice for myself. I think that's the most awful thing like the most awful feeling choosing to not speak to someone and then this possibility that they're like no longer here um, it's it's hard it's really hard and now like our situation is just so confusing but now like my main priority right now is me because I'm in, I'm equally in like a, a dark low place but I'm talking to him and, and I'm saying what I wanted to say and I'm doing what I can for someone in that position um, and God forbid anything happened to him you know like I would walk away from the situation saying oh I didn't do this I didn't do that you know so anyways he, this is going to get quite deep and dark, I guess, but it, it has a, a positive resounding message, I hope, <laughs> which is um, we, the, the reality of things is we don't always know if we will, we, we will wake up and um, we, don't, we don't always know and I, and I, and I am aware that I, I think about these things probably more so than the next person and not in a, not in a good way. <laughs> And we don't know if our loved ones will wake up, but you know, it's 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 all the same, and it's really depressing, um, and it's harsh, and it's direct. I think the motto of this, for me at least, is to say and do everything that you want to say and do. It's a really dark thing to think about, and and I don't I don't think about it, you know, too often, <laughs> you know, like worryingly often, but ha Let's say, you know, God forbid something happens to me tomorrow. There, there, I know there would be a lot of people that would regret a lot of things. You know, hurting me, not saying things, you know, holding back. You know, it's very specific things. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person who loses someone and is the one regretting things. And I think, you know, having this mindset saves you a lot of pain and, and time and healing 
this mindset all the time, you have a fight with someone and you won't hesitate to apologize and you know you won't be so stubborn and and you'll you'll learn your lessons and you'll learn to speak up and say I love you when you love someone and I think those are the most important things. And it's important that we don't allow fear to take over. Um, if you guys watched my I took myself on a date vlog, I sent a letter to that person, and, which is our thing. Uh, and that was me starting up a conversation again after a month. Had I let fear take over and not sent that letter, I wouldn't have found out what happened to them. And you know, in this case, I feel like at one point I thought ignorance was bliss, but it really isn't because now I'm happy that I that I can be there and say the things that I want to say and do the things I want to do. So, you know, if, if fear is holding you back, that's, that's the last thing you want, especially with the mindset of, you know, tomorrow is, is it guaranteed. And me and this person always used to say to each other, you know, we have all the time in the world together. You know, we, we, we have we have tomorrow, we always have tomorrow and and now, not even just with our really complicated situation, but like with everything that's happened to both of us mentally, it's like, well we don't. And I don't want to say that to him, but we don't. And it's not like I'm trying to rush anything. But I'm just looking at it realistically now. We don't. We don't have tomorrow. We don't. We don't. We don't know. That that's the truth. We don't know. We we have no clue. And I would rather be safe and 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 say and do everything than than hold back because we might have a tomorrow. But we also might not. So why the fuck would I hold back? You know that kind of that counter argument I guess. We don't always get second chances at good things, at, at things that we missed the first time round, at things we didn't pursue the first time round, at things that came our way and we thought we weren't good enough for and they came around again and, and I said this in a, in a TikTok video of mine but if something comes your way Regardless of the timing or the situation, or whatever the hell it is, it's for you. Bad or good, it's for you. There's no other way to put it. It wouldn't be put into your life if it wasn't for you. And and I don't say that to dismiss like awful things. <laughs> I'm not talking about like trauma, I guess. And when I say bad things, I mean like karma. But the good things, opportunities, people, situations these things only come our way when we're ready and we might think we're not ready but that's you that's your yes you getting in your own way it's you blocking your own path and and yeah some good things will come around so you can deny them and learn your lesson but if they come around again if you get a second chance if you if you get a hundred chances if you you know whatever the situation is fucking take it dude tomorrow not to scare you but you might not be here none of us might fucking be here when i was a kid i used to watch a show i have no idea what it was called but all the uh adults disappeared and it, it was like the b-tech society you know the netflix show the society on cbbc and the thought of that terrified me that like half over half the population just fucking disappeared dude and obviously nothing like that will happen i mean nothing's impossible but that won't happen but dude tonight we could get hit by a fucking asteroid tomorrow you know we could go god forbid god forbid or we could go into another pandemic you know i don't i'm not gonna jinx personal things but like who fucking knows man you know i have a 103 year old great grandma alive to this day and this woman holds on to life like like it's all she has yet her life is is awful in in terms of like her lifestyle her, her quality of life right now you know she's in a home she's unhappy she doesn't have a good memory you know 
this woman fucking beat coronavirus, okay? Like, she, I call her Iron Man because she is just otherworldly. That's great, that's great, great grandmas for you, dude. Um, my point is, you know, like, we, we don't know. You know, we've, like, with this example with my great grandma, we've spent every birthday since she was 90 being like, this could be her last, this could be her, and it's a sad way to think. But it's a realistic way because like it makes every birthday we have with her really special and it's when the whole family gets to see each other and so it's it's not a bad mindset to have it's a good mindset to have it might be depressing or realistic but and i and i am definitely a dreamer far from realistic in my head but my point is i think overall is Tell that person that you love them. Tell that person that you don't want them in your life anymore. Tell that person how that thing made you feel. Tell that person that you're sorry. You know, say everything, do everything. There is nothing in this life that by the time you reach 85, you will genuinely turn around and say, I shouldn't have done that when I was 18. I shouldn't have done that when I was 20. I shouldn't have done... Unless it, you are committing a fucking crime, telling someone that they hurt you, telling someone that you love them, tell, you know, these things, they, they matter, but they won't matter when you're 85. And I think that's also another nice way to put it. I mean, telling someone you love them now could lead to you getting fucking married and having kids and and that's your life you know so it will matter when you're 85 so imagine holding back and fucking up your own life like that like like it's so it's so it's so extra and I, and I, I do understand how extra it is but that's that's how that's what I that's what I think and that's how I how, how I like and I, I just want to make it clear and I'm not saying if someone has blocked you, fucking bug them, stalk them, you know. I'm not saying that. If someone has set clear boundaries with you, don't push your luck. But if you are not talking to someone that you love, go talk to them. If, you know, these things are so petty and holding back is such a waste of time. And because our time is so limited and the scary thing is we don't know how limited, you know. It could be a day, it could be 30 days, it could be 30 years, you know. We could live until, like, my great-grand until 103. And... Because you never know, you might as well just do shit. You know, you just might as well. What's, what's the point in not doing it, you know? And it really breaks my heart when the person I love says, if, you know, if I make it through this, if... Well, it's like fuck that first of all you are gonna make it through it I will force you <laughs> and secondly I love you I'm here for you I care about you I'm proud of you and I and I and I say these things with a lot of pain but also it's genuine and life isn't easy and light and that's what we want especially when we're depressed and stuck and other people are suicidal and losing their will that's what we want we want light and you know what you don't get light and easy and simple until you move out of your own way and by holding back and not doing and not saying you're so in your own way i, I always say this metaphor of like imagine you're on like a path and right in front of you you can see the path and you can see everything around it and it's beautiful but there is a you in front of you there is another you in front of you just standing there you move left you move right it moves with you you're blocked and, it, and it's because of you there is nothing else in your way but yourself and i would hate that i'd hate to be the thing getting in my own I've self-sabotaged a lot in my life and and this past beep to you too and and especially in this last past year and, and and I've learned from my lessons and I won't do it again but I've been given enough time to, to learn those lessons and to not do it again and 
I, I refuse, I physically refuse to go backwards and I refuse to get in my own way and I, I always say smash the mirror smash the mirror of you, this is you and there isn't another you so it must be a mirror and you're continuously like looking at this path but this path is, this path is there but you're blocking the real you and all you can see is probably the past because it's a mirror so the path is also behind you and and you get confused and stuck and it's you, it's your fault. And, and that's not to put blame on yourself, you're, you're human, you're learning your lesson still, but smash the mirror. And you only smash the mirror by doing and saying everything. By being honest with yourself. That's the only way we learn as humans. Um, tell that person you miss them, you know, just speak it out even if it's to yourself at first because I get it that these things are scary but you know at least say it to yourself first and then say it to them I think you know if, if I, I will tell you if, if if I was if I was on the receiving end of an I love you of an I miss you I, I would be happy not from everyone <laughs> but I would be happy to hear that to hear randomly especially that someone still loves me, someone still misses me, that that would make my, my, my fucking year, dude. So go do it, you know, and if it ends badly, you got out your own way. You're not the blockage. At least you have that clarity and you can move forward now. Your path is just waiting for you, you know. Cliche, but risk it all. And uh, I've always loved the carpe diem, which is seize the day. Do that thing you've held back on doing. This is your sign, basically, to go do it. I think I like the, the the phrase, if a situation or a person is open to you, be open to it. I really like that, and I think, you know, we don't have to take every, you know, there's, there's a friendship I, I've had recently, very, you know, very recent, maybe two months max we've been friends, and this person just wasn't for me, and I, and I, I, I told them and I was, you know, like, I just, I, this, this friendship isn't making me happy, it, it doesn't add anything, in fact, it, it makes me a little bit anxious, and they understood. Do I regret it? <laughs> no. Would I have regretted it if I didn't say something? Yep. So, fuck fear. Fuck fear, dude. Don't hold back. This, this um, you know, I don't know, I think maybe I wanted to rant part of me wanted to run and I don't know how I feel about it because <laughs> like I haven't spoken to anyone properly I spoke to someone properly once last night and, and everyone and, and no one else for about a week I'm just not in a, in a, in a place where, where I feel super comfortable talking and like ranting usually I'm like a mess I'm an emotional overflowing mess right and and I can't shut up but I don't know, I feel like maybe just I'm changing <laughs> or something along those stupid lines. Go do that thing. And also I think, this is like really random, but like I think, like I'm such a miser, I've said this before, I don't spend money. I do more so now than I used to, but I just, I, I, I used to really hold back. And the thing is, it's like there's this whole spiritual belief of like you spend and you earn more, like kind of thing, like you know what you give, you get back ten, tenfold. Um, and it and it does apply to that as well. Um, you know why the fuck not am I? Why the why the hell am I not gonna buy tickets to go see Ash in, in September? Oh wait, I did. You know why? Because I deserve it. Am I gonna cry? Because all her songs are about divorce and breakups. Yes, yes, I am. Am I gonna? cry because I love Ash with all of me, yes, yes I am. And what about it? What about it? And you know what, if it's on a, if it's on a weekday, I probably have university. Am I going to miss university? Yes I am. You know why? Because you only fucking live once, dude. Who gives a fuck about your attendance? Who gives a fuck about grades? Who gives a fuck about nothing in this life? I'm going to go on a tangent, but nothing in this life is fucking important, man. But love and, and the people that you cherish and, and being yourself. And being it's like a secondary school life, I was told. No one gives a fuck at all. It didn't do anything for me. 
It didn't do anything for most people. And it won't. This this whole old, old ass, stupid fuck era is dying out. We, I, I work for myself. This is, this, where I am right now is where I wanted to be when I was doing my GCSEs. So I went and did it and it will only get better from here. Did that happen because I did my maths GCSEs? Fuck no it didn't. Everything happens because of you, okay? And I know that that sounds like putting blame on yourself when bad things happen, but it, it's, it's not true, but it's it's more so, you know, you can take control, and, 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 and as a person who is obsessed with control like I am, you have more control than you think you do. You really do. You know, I felt so out of control last week, and what I did is I turned off my phone. It's pretty much still turned off. I check it only uh, like once a day now, not even, just to check on some people because I think I worry. I, I took control, and I have written 36,000 words of a new book, and I haven't written a book for over a year. And and I feel I'm low, but I feel amazing at the same time because I'm I'm taking control, and I and I. I'm doing things that make me happy and I'm saying what I want to say and doing what I want to do and ugh, I just I can I think I'd rather die than, than live any other way right now it's nice and and it's it's I'm I'm at a place in my life where I feel quite stuck so it's nice to, to feel that control and and I think this mindset allows you freedom you 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 for yourself from a lot of mental cages when, when you tell the truth and, and and you're honest with yourself and honesty isn't always nice being honest with yourself you know about for me like self-sabotage and, and, and loads of things and where you went wrong and it's it's hard but it's really it's really beautiful at the same time anyway I went on like six different tangents and like I am getting so cold and I need to go back inside but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you can take something from it. Put in on my dad's massive shoes that just don't fit me whatsoever. I crushed a bee with these shoes. Sorry bee. I didn't mean to. It's over there, I can see it. I might give it a little burial. Would you like to be the burial ground so you can just be over there? You're dying, dude. You need more water, man. Come on, what, what were we just speaking about? Hmm? Hmm? Come on. Anyways, I'm clearly going insane. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I love you. There you go. I said it, it's your turn. I love you. Have a good one. Enjoy this video with me for a little bit. If you want. It's nice, it's a, it's a nice view. Hi trees. Okay, bye.